Over the past few months, several fishing boats carrying dead bodies were discovered across the region. Some of the dead were almost mummified, presumably by the heavily saline conditions and the heat out on the open water, while others at the time of discovery had already decomposed to the point that only bones remained as evidence of their existence. As the discoveries and the bodies added up, regional authorities became suspicious that the deceased may have originated from the same place and that their intended destination was not the Caribbean. The first blue and white fishing boat filled with bodies was discovered off the coast of Guyana in February. An estimated 5 to 10 deceased people were found on board, all in a severe state of decomposition. However, by the time that Guyanese authorities could deploy the necessary teams to locate and retrieve the boat, it had disappeared. It is believed that the vessel may have become, begun taking on water and sank shortly after being sighted. The following month, a similar boat was found off the coast of Nicaragua. Six bodies were found on board in varying stages, again, of decomposition. One carried a passport belonging to a 31-year-old man from the Republic of Guinea. This discovery is what led regional authorities to Africa as a possible point of origin of the unlucky travelers. Another boat was found in May, this time in Dutch Caribbean waters off the island of Aruba. The boat was investigated by a flight crew who determined that there were no signs of life on board. Efforts were being made by local Coast Guard crews to recover the boat and the nine deceased on board. However, the vessel broke free of its tow rope as it was being pulled towards land and the boat drifted out of sight under the cover of darkness. Attempts to recover the vessel were abandoned within a few days and it is thought that this boat could also have sank. Later that same month, a boat filled with corpses was successfully towed into a port on the Atlantic coast of Tobago. An initial estimate of four bodies on board quickly grew to 10, 12, and then finally 14. The differences in figures has uh, been attributed mainly to the advanced stage of decomposition of some of the bodies, which could only be differentiated after being grouped and reconstructed. There still remains some uncertainty over whether this was one of the vessels that had disappeared in Guyanese or Aruban waters or a different one altogether. One of the bodies on board was said to have been far less decomposed than the others, and it is believed that this individual would have endured a significant period of time at sea in the company of their dead and rotting comrades before meeting a similar tragic end. Investigations by Trinidadian authorities found that the boat was reported stolen in Mauritania months before appearing off the